Welcome to this Windows channel and today we're going to show you how to remove the famous Ask toolbar and also how to set back your own start page. Now Ask, um, a lot of you have been asking me about this, <laughs> asking me <laughs> about Ask <laughs> and uh, I know it's not funny, you know you get this and you don't know how and you're just stuck with it. but the Ask toolbar isn't technically malware or anything. What makes it undesirable is the fact that you get it in a non-correct way. Uh, you'll often have it in, you know, in this case, Java Update will bring the Ask toolbar, or a software you've downloaded has the Ask toolbar, and you didn't just, you know, check everything to make sure that you remove the check mark and to install the Ask toolbar when you install the software. Um, so how do you remove it? First of all, if you're in Windows 10, you go right click the Start button, go into Programs and Features. If you are in Windows 7 or Windows 8, well, go into your Control Panel and once you're in your Control Panel, you'll go into programs and features and make sure that you find the ask toolbar it is written as ask toolbar click on it and on click the uninstall button of the ask toolbar that you'll see in your list and now it's not in mine because I don't have ask toolbar I even tried to install it and it didn't want to work so <laughs> I guess uh, maybe it's not that compatible with Windows 10 yet um, but um, just click the ask toolbar in this list. Uninstall it. The next step is going to be depending on your browser now. If you have Google Chrome, what you'll want to do is go into the hamburger menu on the upper right of Google Chrome. Go into settings. Here you want to first go to extensions, remove ask from the extensions if it's there by clicking the trash can at the right edge of your screen that is with ask toolbar or ask extensions then go to settings and here you'll say open a specific page or set of page and you'll click set page enter the address of the website you want for example for google www.google com dot c whatever okay that's how you'll get it so just type the web address of the web page you want to have now if you see ask or you see anything else click the x next to that other website so that you remove it and just keep the one that you want to have as a start page now i'll keep toronto.com because i want this and click the ok button and you know what, you're now all set up so that your Chrome browser is going to be okay. If you're in Firefox, if you have such a problem, go into the hamburger menu on the right side of your Firefox screen, go into add-ons, make sure that in extensions you've got nothing. If you've got ask, remove that extension to make sure that it disappears. That's the first thing that you want to do. And then go into the hamburger menu again and here you can actually uh, simply customize everything so uh, basically if you want to have your start screen you go into options and here it says when Firefox starts show my own page here you'll have different options you can select a home page so say you want Google google.ca press enter or com if you're in the United States or anywhere in the world type com and once that is done you will now have a new start page that is Google and you'll have removed ask in Internet Explorer go into your little settings or tools on the upper right corner uh, there you will go into manage add-ons make sure that you check for ask click if you see ask and make sure that you 
disable ask toolbar once that is done simply go again to the tools go into internet options type the address of the website you want as a start page click apply okay and here you're all set up you have removed ask from not only the toolbars in your browsers and in your computer but you'll have reset to the start page that you want in your browsers if you enjoyed this video why not subscribe to my channel you'll be informed when new videos are online give us thumbs up if you like the videos and if you have any comments questions suggestions anything you want to know let us know and uh, thank you for following us on this channel